Good day my stitchy friends, welcome to my channel Stitcherella. Well today we're carrying on with nine count Fridays. So if you hear a bit of a noise in the background, they are busy with the trees again because it was cut off too long so they must make it shorter. Some parts they do manually and some parts they just do with that very very noisy noisy saw thing. So how's your Friday? What are you doing? I just went to town. I did my last grocery shopping and did a few things. And I thought, okay, I am at home now. Quickly record because I must go and fetch my mother. She's come to stay with me this weekend. But you all know that. Now, I want to explain why I call this Friday's Nine Count Friday Recap. We have a lot of new members and they have obviously not watched all my um, my videos and I got a few requests and I've got a long request from Jennifer. Hi right, Jennifer! And she wanted to know more about me and about my medical problems and blah blah blah. It's a lot of things that I have shared before that I'll just go over quickly or talk to you about. Sorry if it's boring because it might be a repeat. So you see, the, so that all the new new members also know where I'm coming from, where, what, and what. So first, before I start that, I want to explain another question. Uh, yesterday I spoke about bry, but I have explained it before as well. I said we will bry, but we're not going to bry because it's cold. Now, if I say bry, it means barbecue we barbecue a lot in south africa we don't like doing it on gas there is a few but it does not taste the same so it's outside on the fire with wood or charcoal so we bry like that we don't, we don't gas is not real bry gas you can do in the in the house as well a real braai is, or real barbecue for a South African, is outside over the fire with wood. So after that explanation, a okay. camp. So I'm Sonnet, all of you know that. And the new people, hi, welcome to my channel. Sonnet, I'm turning 45 years old. I live in South Africa. I am married to Mike. And I've got two children. I have been divorced. My two children is my ex-husband's children. The one is in grade 5 and the other one grade 7. So my boy Alex is going to high school next year. And Abby is my little girl. So she's the youngest. Um, what, what, oh, oh, there's so many things I can think about. Oh, why do I want medical aid and what's wrong? All right, I did a lot of sport when I was younger, and not even just when I was younger. I still played netball for our national team, uh, in inside netball for the national team after my children. So I, I have <laughs> tongue twisters. So I. It's long time coming, the sports injury. So I had each knee, I had a half a knee replacement. And that causes that I can't jump or run. But now with age, I can't run, I can't jump. And suddenly I can't exercise at all for the last two years. Because my back goes out. And if I walk for longer than an hour, I can't get up or sit. My back locks. But I wear medical help our government um what do you call it oh, i'm stuck again this the state medical aid not the medical aid the state health care the government health care is horrible if you want to die go and use that so it's it's really really bad and if you don't you won't understand what i'm talking about i live in south africa it's bad so to fix all these things I need a medical aid and it's extremely expensive so I'm working towards a point where I can afford medical aid 
because life is expensive, as easy as that. Just make things better. So I also want to exercise and shed all the extra kilos I picked up in the last few years. So yes, and um, I also got a heart problem. Uh, my heart's been operated twice already. And that's a constant problem. A few uh, weeks ago I picked up a new one. And everyone knows that because you're following me so you know. So you're hearing this again. And suddenly, kaboom, my blood pressure was sky high. Now I've got that permanent high blood pressure issue. I got my carpal tunnels fixed, but that was about 10 or 12 years ago. And they are giving problems again. So the biggest thing in my life at the moment I need is medical aid. It's a basic human need, but in South Africa, I don't think so, right? It's basic, basic human things you need that... that you don't have access to and the, the the place you've got access to kills you when you go there it's very bad so like my one tooth it's got a hole in but the government um health care they don't give fillings they just pull teeth that is ridiculous and and they do it off so it's not no 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 so that is my main goal my kids are busy with exams. They were sick the last two weeks, week, and Mike got sick too. So Mike's feeling a bit better. He's still under the weather. The kids are definitely feeling better, but they're not healthy. They're coughing and they, they're very snotty. You know what I mean? They, they, they're still very congested, but they're writing exams on Monday. They're going, and then next week is a hectic week for them because they must catch up on everything they missed oh yeah that's that's where we at with that what else oh uh, there was also a question what do i do in my daily life i cross stitch i <laughs> i do basic things like at the end of the month i do grocery shopping i Sorry, the noise in the background is going to drive us nuts. But in any way, I hope you can hear me. The, yeah, so daily, on a daily basis, I make videos for you. I cross stitch, I take care of my kids, I cook. I stay at home and I basically, when I don't have something to do, I cross stitch. It's my passion. I have studied, so I'm not using my 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 things I studied. I'm not using it anymore. I'm I'm at home. I do professional oil paintings. I knit. I crochet. But all those things are on the backlog because of cross stitching. I'm a total cross stitch cross stitch fanatic. So what else? You must ask me. I'll answer you. My husband works from home. He's got an office at home. Um, oh, listen to my kid cough. So if that noise goes so loud again, I'm just going to put it off if it takes too long to um, quiet down a bit. I'm not going to be, be busy the whole day, but I don't have time because I need to get my video done. I need to talk to you. Because as soon as I'm finished, I'm going to leave my phone at home, jump in the car, go do the rest of the stuff I haven't done yet and pick up my mother. So yeah, it's quite a thing. I just don't have enough time today. But from next week on, everything will stabilize again. Stabilize, no noise, kids are going back to school. So everything will do better. Uh, lots of you said, where's Mike? Say hello, Mike. Hello, Mike. Oh, and he says, hello, Mike. <laughs> he's sitting there by his computer. He can talk again. He's, he's okay again. So for you who don't know, my, my older subscribers, they they know me and Mike. have got a, got a nice, playful relationship. We always quibble. But funny way, funny teasing way. And life goes on in my house when I record. So everyone talks and carry on and you will hear everything that happens. I I can't um, can't stop life happening while while I record. I've tried in the beginning, 
but it, <coughs> excuse me, it just doesn't work. There is um, something I also, oh yeah, my channel. What do you say? What? <laughs> okay, Mike says I'm giving you the African experience. There's never a dull moment, which is which is true. There is never never a dull moment, yeah. Um, oh, and where I was when 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 Mike rudely interrupted me. <laughs> uh, my channel is not even four months old, so thank you for everyone that's watching and supporting. I appreciate that so, so much. Thank you. I think I'm going to take a quick break because these people are going to drive me nuts now. And I am back and there's finally no noise. And it wasn't a second, I promise you, it was a few hours. So while they were busy with that tree, my stitchy friends, I went to town and did the rest of the stuff I had to do. I was only home for less than an hour. So I, I went to town, I did everything I had to do and I fetched my mom. So mom's here with me now. Mike's here and it's late. So I decided to do this quickly, not quickly, but just carry on with what, what I started with. And as you can see, I'm working at night. Look at the light. Now guess what? I got my birthday gift early from my mom. So we can use it. Mom is actually sitting right next to me. She's teaching the fox. Say hello, Mom. Say hello, Mom. Hello, hello. <laughs> she, she's sitting there and I'm telling her to say hi. She's saying hi. And Mike's sitting there in the corner. Say hello, Mike. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, so I was telling you about my life and what's going on. And finally, I am at a spot where I can sit down and stitch a bit. Me and mom's gonna watch some spooky things later on. But I just decided to come and do this. How's your day been? What you've been up to? Mine's been very busy. I actually thought I'm going to have more time. But, well, what do I always say? Life happens while you're making other plans. Né? Yes, the recap of my life. I think I said everything. If I didn't ask me, I will tell you. Jennifer, I don't do anything but look after my family, visit my mom and stitch. So I basically stitch as much as I can when I don't take care of my family, I stitch. And that's a full-time thing for me. Stitch, stitch, st stitch, and I love it. I adore it. I've seen the places that loaded quite a bit of new stuff. Um, I haven't had a chance to properly sit down and, and see. Before I started this video, I must tell you, I actually, when we ordered, I ordered the 19th, paint some way. And um, all my stuff is already, it's partially sent. So we'll see how that goes and how quickly that will get you. I have received another unboxing today. Is that for the Christmas? I've been waiting so long. And it was supposed to be a snow house. Well, I got some cakes and coffee and I think the person who packed it knew that I don't need the snow house. I just need cakes and coffee and sweets. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what happened there. But still a nice stitch. I will unbox it. I'll show it to you. I wanted to unbox it today. But there's no time. I'll do an unboxing tomorrow and I'll do Silky Saturdays tomorrow. And Sunday, I am meeting you face to face and showing you some stitchy love. Yes. Feels very weird to be so busy in a day that you come and sit and it's gone. I really thought things would be, be quicker today, but it wasn't. Kids were supposed to study today. They didn't. 
I'm writing exams on Monday and now Granny is here and I warned her before we came here don't take this side because Granny always takes this side, right? Mama? Yeah. <laughs> so she always takes this side but she can't because it's actual exams. There's no, there's no fooling around with that, right? But in any way. I'm still busy with the background. Mom's busy with the fox. You must, you guys must see. I think she posted a photo on Facebook. Uh, what did I want to say? My it's English brain is dying. Mean. What are you saying, Mike? The nine count that Bob's working. Yeah, go look. Go it's look how nice so. it is. I can't because this. I, I, I will. Oh my gosh, you guys see. This is what happens when when Mike thinks. He knows what to do. <laughs> Just flipping up my stuff. Jeez. He's like, show them, show them, show them. And I'm trying to explain to him. I'm doing my stitchy time. So I zoom in on the work that I work. You can never see that. But what I will do is after all the clips, after everything, I'll make a short video where I show you how much of my background is done. And I'll put mom's next to mine. And where I was before I got rudely interrupted by Mike, <laughs> um, the fox, the, I did not think the nine counts going to have so much detail. It looks amazing, my stitchy family, amazing. You don't even want to know. That fox looks very good. But I'm very happy I started on the background. My mom's crinkling here next to me. I think she's looking for floss and scissors, yes. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I will show you what it looks like. And and the background, that's where I was, right? I'm losing my train of thought the whole time. I'm very happy that I started with my background because this it's a lot. There's just so much of it. At least it goes quick. And once it's done, then I'm getting to the juicy part in the middle. Now, on the cards tomorrow. Oh, let me tell you what's for dinner. So, we didn't know what to do, what to do. And I don't want to bribe because it's freaking cold. And for anyone that doesn't know bribe, bribe barbecue, South African way. But in any way. So, tonight we're eating gourmet burgers with mushroom sauce. Mike will prepare the burgers. We will cook them. And then he cuts the stuff fine, everything that goes on, like tomato, onion, lettuce, the works. Then we put it in separate buckets and I make a thick creamy mushroom sauce. So we're going to do that. And we bought this nice gourmet burgers. It is, um, they make it at my local spa, the local shop. So it's big and then it's got pieces of cheese and, and a green pepper and it's, oh, I can't wait, it's so juicy. So he's cooking those up for us. I got us some rusks that we can maybe today, tomorrow have with coffee. And then tomorrow I'm baking a cake, doing lasagna. And on my birthday Mike's making us a humongous breakfast. Yes, so he's helping me a lot like always. That's why you guys also love him. I give him a lot of lot of problems, but good ones. A good old quibble is nothing, right? Yeah, in the background. He goes... <laughs> <laughs> you can see he's back to his old cheeky self. Not totally recovered, but... On the way, right? Kids are... Oh my word! <laughs> Did you guys hear what he said? He's pretending to be sick to get more tension. He's sleeping outside in the dog box tonight. <laughs> what's, what's new? <laughs> 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 you take my blankets well, away, that's punishment. Yeah, <laughs> no, shove it. But in any way, this is going quite quick. What? But in more. Mag ek Afrikaans praat? Ek het ons getrek. Okay. Now my mom's busy. What do you guys call it? Fogging. Or what? When you make a mistake and you pull it loose, fogging or flogging, I don't know. 
Fogging sounds like something that happens with the weather. So I don't know, but we, um, in Afrikaans, we say, ons trek het ei. Ja, so it's two head out. Ja, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> yes. So mom's sitting with me, you're gonna hear a lot this weekend. Yeah, everyone, everyone's with me, it's my birthday weekend. So come share the fun with me, comment, talk to me. If I don't come, if I don't answer you immediately, don't worry, I'll answer you. Thanks for the beautiful message, Maureen. Hi, Jennifer. Did I answer all your questions? And then to, to the three musketeers, Liz and Athena, I love you lots. Thank you for everything you do for me and always having that ear. If I want to talk or something, it's just that uh, you had you lending me your ear. Let's say hi to Rod and Athena. Say hi to your two boys. You guys know what was wonderful last night. I was speaking to Liz and Athena, and Athena said she must go because she must pick up boys up in the park. They're still playing, and I was amazed because it's eight o'clock at night. Because here in South Africa, we can't do that. My kids don't know that. After dark, you go not out of the gate. No. So I was amazed to hear they can still play in parks and stuff in the dark at night time. Oh, my kids will enjoy. Enjoy. It's a different type of life. Not living. They, they're going to think they lived in a jail if they, when they experience that. These ones. Oh. <laughs> they work so quick now I've got one thread that's shorter than the rest let me just see what's going on here alright let's trim this to the right side size oh so by the way I'm taking fat chances my stitchy family I walked into this house and I said now I'm going to record and I was like hinting, oh, I want my present, what's in the bag? My mom said I can open my present, so I'm so happy. Look at my light! Yay! But in any way, my phone battery is on 19%. It's probably less now. But at least I'm getting this done. I want to push it and see how far I can push it. So we can get a proper video and then I can put it in charge. And tomorrow we can carry on again, right? But this goes so, so quickly. You must show me your progress. And thank you for everyone that came back to me about Gamer Girl. Now I have an answer there. I put it on a link. And if you want to get her, because she's going to be gone soon. Um, me and uh, Madeleine got Gamer Girl. But soon she will not be available anymore. And that's life. Alright, let me end this off. I'll be back in a second. Alright, let's continue. I just had a nice sip of my coffee. Yes, it's late, but I'm having coffee. I just got a... Um, I just need a coffee. I ate some yogurt. And then I just needed... I normally don't drink coffee this late. But it's weekend and it's my birthday and I can do what I want to. <laughs> yes. Um, oh, let me tell you something. My mom's sitting here next to me. I had such a good laugh at her. It's so funny. I spoke to her this morning. And she's sitting next to me and now she calls it permanently that. But I'll tell you now what I'm talking about. She's telling me I lied on my video and I'm like, What? It's like, yeah, you lied. But in Afrikaans, she tunes me, no, I lied. I'm like, what? She said, you said, this thing doesn't have a lot of uh, graffiti spaghetti. I'm like, but it doesn't. She's like, have you seen how many potholes there is? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she, she's calling the confetti potholes. If you don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's a new one. Yeah, it's a new one. So, if you don't know what's a pothole, I don't know if you do or not. Um, South Africa's roads, most of them are pathetic. They have big holes in. So, 
you burst your tires in them and you drive over them and you damage your car so it's a pothole in the road and she's calling the <laughs> she's she is calling the uh, the spaghetti confetti <laughs> she's calling it she's calling it potholes that's so funny now we've got spaghetti confetti graffiti potholes <laughs> And last night, I couldn't help myself, and I hope, I hope you're not angry with me, but, oh, Athena, she messaged me, but remember yesterday on my video, I spoke about Slap Dam, and I said, I love watching it, I'm going to let my mom watch Slap Dam tonight, and um, in the beginning, I always called it Slap Bacon, and I'm busy dyeing my hair, and I get a message, she can't find Slap Dam. And I couldn't <laughs> I'm like, what ham do you want to slap? It slapped ham, not go slap the ham. That was so funny. I I cried of laughter for about half an hour. I couldn't breathe almost. It was so funny. She made my evening. It was so, so funny. Yes. <laughs> Oh man, I just thought, Mom, that her Snow White, Snow White is going to be here next week. She's like, no, 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 but she says in Afrikaans, no, 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 she must finish this one, she must finish that one. She's getting nervous of all the new ones she started. I never said she must start it, I just told her it's coming. <laughs> you know that, let's start another one, illness. But in any way, so today, uh, GBFKE, am I saying it right now, Mike? G, G, okay. you guys, I always say JBFKE, that's what I called the shop forever, I've always called it that, till yesterday when, when Mike said to me, but that's not a J, it's a G. But I'm translating it correct, uh, directly, so sorry. But in any way, they came back to me. And I've got a cat that says, There once was a girl who loves cats. It's got a Siamese cat on it. And then underneath it says, That girl is me. The end. The end. <laughs> and then I've got a, a boat and I think it's a, a but it's very nice it's like a sailboat it's one of those watercolor things we're very nice so that is also coming for unboxing and then I don't know if I told you those fairies I unboxed the fairy a purple fairy and I love I love purple and I told you on that unboxing I told you about this uh, cross stitch that I really, really want the fairies, but it's not purple. I wish it came in purple, but it's not. It's brownish and goldish colors, and, and of course it's a silhouette, so there's a lot of black. Now, uh, it's coming. It's coming. I'm going to show you what I talk about. It's like the fairy mom and then the elf or fairy boy behind her with the fairy girl. So that... Thing, just when I saw it, it just spoke to me from the beginning. It's like me, then Alex, then Abby, because he's the oldest. I'm the old, old granny. <laughs> no, not really. And then uh, he's the eldest, and then Abby. So, yeah, I'll show you when that arrives. That's also coming. Excitement in the air. Yay. <laughs> oh, man. And then um, my silk kits are also coming from fan cells. I'll show you. I've got a silk kit from uh, brr, Biggest Craft coming as well. And I saw Natalia's unboxings and it's exactly the same ones. Excellent quality. Excellent. Uh, remember about your gamer girl. You're not going to find her again. If the stock that there is is sold out, it's gone. I jumped on that very, very quickly because I was eyeing it for a long time, but there's always something better and something I just decided, nope, I must organize one for Marlene. So I'm going to grab myself one as well, as if I don't have enough, right? Who asked me about this? Am I going to start selling my cross stitch? Okay, 
So here's the explanation about all my cross stitches. No, I'm not selling them. No, I'm not donating them. And no, I'm not giving them away. I give a few away here and there. And I do this. And we'll have competitions. But, but it's a collection. The thing is, it's like... If you collect gold watches, are you just going to give everyone one? Or just throw it away or sell them? It's a collection. My heart breaks when I lose one. I'll get rid of some of them and, and on, on, on our prize givings and our competitions and stuff that will come in future, no problem. And if not, I will just buy ones to give away because it's my collection. <laughs> You see, everything I have, I like. And the things I don't like is because they came here and they DIY. I am sorry. That is life. And someone on, on the group asked me, what's wrong with it? What's everything for me is wrong with it? It still get a picture. You still get, you still, some of them comes out nice. The silhouettes and stuff, they come out nice. Um, but now put my, say Harley Quinn. Silhouette against 20 colors. A Harley Quinn silhouette has got 43 colors. So it's just that in the detail, if you if you want to spend the time to get a product and you could have gotten another one, a better quality product, that's, that's just my opinion. This you might have your own opinion, and that's okay. And don't don't be angry with me because I don't like it. I'm just telling it as it is, as I see it out of experience, as it is. So yes, everyone for themselves and enjoy it. That's what it's about, right? Got someone today telling me, it's not telling me, they were also on the Facebook group. Um, I can't remember your name, but I won't say it in any way, but I can't remember it. I don't like Joy Sunday. It's your choice. But personally, I love Joy Sunday. It's a way more superior product than anything that in spring. So no, that is excellent, excellent, excellent products. I I don't run out of threads. I don't. I've heard people do run out of them, and and okay, it's fine. And I jump around like an Olympic jumper, and I don't. So we always have some extra threads and stuff and you can always ask for more but the product itself is amazing and that my dear dear stitchy, stitchy family is only my opinion and I will give mine to you you don't have to take it but that's why I open things that's why I look at things that's why I do them so I will tell you my experience with it See how quickly this goes. It's boop, 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 gone. It's like sewing clothes, something very, very easy. My mom. Mom busy with potholes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see your family, that's classic. Did you see how many potholes are in this thing? <laughs> very, very cute. So Abby wants to say hi in a video, and I said to her hi. She says, no, she's not really show her face. That's okay. So I said to her, she must come and say hello. So we will see when I take a short break now. No, I don't take breaks. I just <coughs> cut, it, cut the whole video into pieces. If something happens, everything's still there. And if I finish threads, it's better for me to stop and restart because the positioning of where I am changes. When I edit it, it's a mess. You see, I don't have so many breaks in small accounts because the threads doesn't go so fast. This is one, two, three, gone. One, two, three, gone. Chop, chop, sui, and it's gone. Finally, all the groceries are done. Stitchy family, hallelujah. The groceries is done, the people can eat. Uh, grocery shopping is very tiring. 
but it's done and dusted. So tomorrow me and mom will go to our local spa yeah. Get some more sweeties or something. Don't know. And we'll go from there, right? Took Alex for his haircut as well today. Went and picked up my stitchy love. Not stitchy love. This is just stitchy mail. Um, what else did I do? Just very busy in town. That's all I've done. Ach no, what? Why? There's a shorter one again. And there's nothing in the back. So I don't understand why it always does this. That one ends up shorter than the rest. Just to irritate me. Oh God. So I'm not going to say goodbye later. I'm not going to say goodbye like I normally do. I said I'm going to show you how far mom's mm -hmm. fox is. It looks amazing though. Good luck, mom. Huh? <laughs> she's just sitting laughing at me. I think she's, she's laughing at the potholes there. That's, that's such a new one. There you go. Okay. All right, I'll see you in a second. And I am back. I just had a quick look on City. I just had a quick look on my phone. I've got 10% battery life left. But I'm sure we'll make it, you know. It's like when I walked in, I had 19 and I did all these clips. So, battery strong. My little girl is sitting in front of me. I think she should just say hello to you guys. Hello. I say hello. nice. <laughs> all right, guys, this is Abby. Abby, say, nice. say hello to everyone. I did. Say hello, everybody. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> that is a short eye. They, they like you, they feel honoured. Hey? They must feel honoured. <laughs> yeah, so, at least she came to say hi. So, yeah, she's shy. Alex is not shy, he'll take over the whole thing if I call him. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Yeah. Is okay now? Yeah. Just want to hear if my mom's alright, yeah? Well, yeah, that fox looks so well, beautiful. We play Minecraft soon. <laughs> what? I said, if Alex gets involved, they all start playing Minecraft. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> says, if I give um, the mic, saying, if I give Alex a chance, yeah, talk to you guys, he's going to get you all to play Minecraft with him. <laughs> Minecraft and um, what's the other things he plays? He plays a lot of things. Yeah, Ark. Oh, oh. Ark is a big thing for him. They play Minecraft and Ark and Jurassic Park and uh, all that type of things. But in any way, this is going so quick. It's actually ridiculous how quick it goes. I've got for myself that I can do with you nine counts still. I've got this one. I've got, but I might even just tonight work on this one with my mom because we sitting chatting, but we'll see. I've got this one to do. And then I've got that beautiful angel girl. Mom's got one like that too. And then I've got one coming. I'll do the unboxing and I'll show you. So yeah, I said I'm not going to do more, but uh, I lied. Sorry. <laughs> oh, man. Yes, the nerves are still there for Sunday. So hello. But I think we, we're going to do it. Get it done and dust it. And the more I do it, the better it will go. And the less nerves will build up. I just made a cook, yeah. Uh, a cook is a knot. Sorry. Oh, sometimes those words just fly out without me knowing. And then I don't know. I, I, you know, I don't realize that I, I'm not using English. Is your nine counts also going so fast? It's like extremely fast. It just goes, 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 goes. Quick, 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 quick. It's also very motivating on a nine count for someone that works slow 
or slower. For me, I work a bit too fast because these things are finish to a week if I carry on. It's, it, it's very fast. So very motivating for someone that works slower to do a nine count because the progress and you can see results so much quicker. For me it's nice to see how my mom's is getting along because it really looks good. I will show you. Ooh. I will show you a bit later. So you must just hang on and look. I'm not I'm not leaving it. So yeah, that um what did I what did I begin with this morning? Our first clip. Oh, uh, I said recap, right? I do that for in case someone wants to know more again, like where does this come? Where does that come from? And I'm just gonna call it a little bit of a recap because I just brought everyone up to date. Why, what, how? You know, sometimes it's needed. I'm getting hungry. I can't wait to eat those yummy burgers with mushroom sauce. Mike must go and cook now. He said to me he'll go within half an hour and half an hour is gone now. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you see, you just talk about it too loudly. Then he catches the, the, the heat. <laughs> he doesn't even look for trouble with me when I say that. But in any way. My mom's working on her potholes. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna eat you, Mike. She, what? She gonna <laughs> what the hell? What is she, she, she gonna eat you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah. The kids are quiet. I must go and check. Alex took his medicine again. Abby's medicine is also finished. Uh, now it's just the recovery, but um, we'll see how that goes because they're stuffy. At least they're not so moody today. But for the normal moodiness. Extra moodiness is a way. Very happy about that. Mike laughs again and he jokes again. Thank goodness my mom's here because she was scared coming here with everyone that's so sick. So I'm just happy. Everyone feels better. My mom's here. Everything's done and dusted. So yes. Happiness is. And I finish with the trees. The tree felling is done. Done and dusted. No more of that harsh noises. Oh, I must touch wood before I say that. Touch wood. Yes, let me take a sip of my coffee. Hi, this can I last till I'm done here. Yeah. Okay. My mom's phone is going off. But she can phone back now. No. I just want to finish here while my phone is working. It's probably my sisters or my brother looking for my mom, but she's mine now. They can leave her alone. It's a race against the, the phone battery, right? Because if I can't get it done, then it must charge and it takes longer. Sorry, today's video is a bit late. But if you listen to the whole thing, you know exactly why. I'm almost finished with this piece of floss as well. Chop, chop. It's quick, right? Very, very quick. Now, after I've worked this floss, I'm going to show you how far I am. I'm also going to show you my mom's because she's sitting next to me and I told you all about it. And then I'll just, just show you if, if, if you like to see. I know you would like to see, so I'll just show you. There you are. This is absolutely just so quick, fast and easy, right? I'm just happy to see see that it comes out nice. I wasn't in the mood. Like, it was not a mood thing. I explained to you why I'm doing the background. 
because my little tiger is white and beiges and stuff like that. I'll rather work with the dark color first and then all that white. Anything can happen and I don't feel like working with a dirty, dirty thing. I'm scared it gets dirty, all the handling and stuff. I didn't know, so that will happen soon, very, very soon. I'm very far with this blue. I'm going to do all the blue finish so I don't have to touch it again. I'm, I'm saying the whole time that the floss goes quick, but it feels like this piece at the end, it can go, it's going for miles and miles. I thought I'm going to do like eight or nine stitches. I'm already over 20. So it's going, going the extra mile for me here, right? It does not want me to go. It wants me to stay with you and chat with you. And I will do that. It's not now. <laughs> uh, while I do this row, I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the time you spend watching me and the time you spend stitching with me and for supporting me. I really, really appreciate that so much. I'm going to finish this row and then I'm going to show you quickly how far me and my mom is. I will do that in a moment. I just want to finish this. Off. Okay, so no, you're not excused. <laughs> just joking. Alright, so I'll be back in a second. And I'm back. Look at this. Don't you just think it's amazing? Sorry for the leads and stuff in the background. But this is mom's fox. It looks fantastic, right? I just love it. It looks fantastic. And then mine, this is how far I am with the background. I've only been stitching now with you guys. Maybe tonight I'm going to take it a bit further and let's see how it goes. So my stitchy friends and family, my stitchy family. It was lovely, lovely talking to you. And I will see you tomorrow again. Not see, I will talk to you tomorrow again. I'll see you on Sunday. Lots of love. Stitcherella.